of building on this scale. Of history. Explain that the Great Pyramid was originally capped by a small model pyramid called a pyramidion, which was sheathed in electrum, an alloy of gold and silver. Unfortunately, the valuable pyramidion is long gone. Richard Heath's metrology shows the Great Pyramid's pyramidion measured 1 and 1 eleventh feet in height. This metallic cap would reflect the sun's light and look a lot like the shining eye on top of the U.S. dollar bill. The Great Pyramid is the sole surviving wonder of the ancient world. It remains the oldest, largest, and most accurate building ever built. It was the tallest structure in the world for four millennia. It is aligned within a tenth of a percent of true north, and its 13-acre base supporting 2.3 million blocks of stone is horizontal and flat to within 15 millimeters. The mean opening in joints between exterior casing stones is less than half a millimeter. The scale and accuracy are astounding. I believe that even with all the money in the world, we do not have the technical capability to replicate the Great Pyramid today. There is much to be said about the Great Pyramid's proportions. I've already mentioned how 7 to 11 was encoded in the Statue of Liberty. Renaissance artist Albrecht Dürer used the half triangle proportion of 14 to 11 in his esoteric masterpiece Melancholia I. Richard Heath has found the half triangle also encodes 365 days to 20 moons, an interesting astronomical take on the mystery. Notice how pi and phi two of the most important numbers in mathematics, are also implicated and interrelated in the pyramid proportions. John Charles Webb, Jr. has made a profound discovery about the location of the Great Pyramid that is unfortunately widely ignored because of its utter implausibility. Using Google Earth, we can measure the exact latitude of the center of the Grand Gallery inside the pyramid. It is 29.979-2458 degrees north. The speed of light in the vacuum is 299,792,458 meters per second. Incredibly, these are the same numbers. How can this be? This correlation is either pure coincidence or evidence of something very profound. This, this is a Munich production.